Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroote from DQ, DDD.ca. Today's lesson is Introduction to Soft Plan Adding Cabinets, Part 2. Part 1, which you can get to over here, poof, is adding in the base cabinet. Uh, this lesson, we're going to be adding in our uppers. Alright, let's get this started. So we are still inside the Learning Soft Plan Chapter 2, Lesson 10, Adding Cabinets. We're going to add in our upper cabinets now. Just like we did in the basement, or sorry, base uh, cabinets, we're going to change from uh, standard, but we're going there's the blind corner right there, uh, but we're going to do the diagonal corner. Diagonal corner obviously is the ones that um, the gen most of the general public chooses because it has a little more space and storage up there, plus they can actually have a glass cabinet on this end. So we're going to choose the 24 inch, that's what I like choosing because it sort of fits within the depth of the cabinetry and sort of lines up everything. So always, like I said before, always start in the corners. Clicking on here, and I'm going to go down. Let's zoom in a little bit. And using the roller mouse button, zooming in, and then rolling mouse button holding down, and you can start panning over. Now there's the window, and there's the corner, and I have no idea how much distance is in between those two, so we're going to hit B, as in between, and click on the cabinet, and I'm going to make sure I'm not clicking on anything else, just clicking on that line there, because I want to know how far it is from the actual window to the corner unit. It says it's two foot one and a half. So, I'm going to put in two foot one, take away four inches for the trim of the window, Oh, let's say 21 inches. So I'm going to click on our wall cabinet. And I can slip that in there so everyone can see it. Um, up, up, up. There's our 21. And 21 is actually, like I said before, is uh, the largest door you should have. I wouldn't go any larger just because, um, well, like cabinet people will probably tell you not to do that either. So it is the upper. I think I like going with the glass grilled look. I think I'm going to do the glass grill here on the corner and down here for a little bit of symmetry going on. So I have the 21 inch wide. The depth is still 12 inches. Uh, the height is 30 inches. The offset is 54 and the uh, height of the cabinet is 84 still. So I'm not going to uh, change anything in here just yet. I'll show you what all these numbers mean in a minute. Um, now we're going to do our symmetry. As you can see, I'm sort of guessing where it's going to go, and it should snap into place. If I wanted to, I hit Control e on the cabinetry, and it will actually show me the uh, designations, the names. Control c will clean that back up again. All right, let's keep on going downwards. And I have no idea how bitch, how much d is between uh, from here to, to the oven, so I'll hit B on the keyboard. Oh, I missed. I'm not sure how, but I did it. So let's try it again. Let's not make soft plan guess. So clicking on there and clicking on the cabinet itself. Oh, I missed. I went right to the oven. Two foot one. Now that tells me that the cabinet dimension is probably two foot. So let's verify that just to make sure. Click on, let's zoom in. Clicking on the cabinet, clicking on the cabinet. And that is definitely two foot one. <coughs> so I'm going to click on my cabinet icon, uppers. And I'm going to choose my standard, which is right, the 24. Two door is good. Make sure everyone sees that. Got my two door because I want to have a solid cabinet beside the oven. Clicking on the back wall, clicking on there. Now what's probably going to happen is that I actually have an oven in here which is going to be 30 inches. I know that for sure. I could edit this, um, but it will be 36. Or sorry, uh, 30 inches. Now, unfortunately, some codes actually say you have to have one inch in between the range and the cabinetry. So, we have a choice to do a custom cabinet. Not everyone likes doing that. 
especially because of the cost. So what you could do is you can add in a filler, a one inch filler. So we're going to do that now. So I'm going to type in one inch. And of course the cabinet face sort of went away because it's now waiting for us to put in. So there's our cabinet filler. And now we're going to go back into standard. I would love to put the filler in on the other side, but since I'm not quite sure exactly where it is, and well, I do know, but let's do what things in order. It doesn't take too much time to switch the shape over to standard. So we have a 30 inch wide oven. It will be a two door. I want you to take note. As a default, the top height of the cabinetry from the floor is 84 inches. The bottom of this particular cabinet right now is 54 inches, also detail, uh, sorry, um, default. And there's the height at 30 inches. Most heights of uppers are range from 30 inches um, down to 39, but over the refrigerators and the ovens, they're normally a little higher, so you can actually have some storage above your range. That's, of course, you do have that option, typically anyway. So you have... Um, the height it, we're going to change to 18 inches. Click on the arrow, 18 inches. Now what that's going to do when I hit enter, it's going to say that our top height is now down to 72. Why it's doing that is that the 54 inches remains at the bottom of the cabinetry. So it's actually trying to line up all the cabinets. So what you want to do is you want to click on the top height and force that back up to 84. That makes the offset of the um, of the bottom of the cabinet a little higher so now we're actually we're ready to go clicking on the, the wall and away and then we're gonna put in our filler and if you couldn't remember the heights of everything make sure you write that down just so you have an idea I would still know that the height of my cabinet is 30 inches and my uh, offset is 66 which is incorrect, but since I cannot remember what the, I think it was 54, but if I type in the 84 that was here before, it will actually squeeze it down, there it is, 54. Because it's actually all done by uh, factors, whatever I force it into. And of course the fill of 30 inches is a little too excessive, so we'll put that back down to one inch. So, we're gonna click on there, click that over. So there's our one inch. And if I remember correctly, our last cabinet was a 30, 33. So clicking on there and going down to our width size of 33 inches and clicking on the wall and clicking out. So there's our one wall there. And let's continue to the other side. <coughs> We're going to do the blind corner. Do the 24 inches there. Um, I don't know what that size is, but hey, I, I might as well guess. Uh, go into standard, and it doesn't look like a 21, so I'll try a 20. I'm oh, sorry, an 18. And yes, I should probably make that glass grilled. Maybe I should make that a two door. No, no, it'll be a one door glass grilled. Click on there. And it looks like there's some space on the side. Next, I want to put in uh, one more right between the refrigerator and the corner units. That fits in perfect. All right. And our last one, we want to put. <clears throat> I have a feeling we should probably break up this because our 10 minutes are almost up. So, cue theme. If you have any questions on how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv.ca. Sorry, softplantv at ddd.ca. And uh, we'll continue part three if you click on this button right here. And we'll continue with that so much for watching Softland TV.